Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm going to share with you the new collection from Blue Fern, which is um, Yuletide, and it's really beautiful. Um, we just got this in today, so I'm very excited to share that with you. We've got the 12 by 12 collection. Um, we've got the eight by eight um, scale of the uh, same same set of designer papers. There's two each in the eight by eight, and there's one each in the uh, 12 by 12. So there are 10 um, double-sided designer papers in the 12 by 12 and 20 in the eight by eight. In addition to that, we've got an ephemera pack um, with some die cut shapes and then the bits and bobs, which were kind of like the journaling cards in Graphic 45. So I'm gonna go over those with you in detail, but first let's do the 12 by 12. Oh, first of all, I'm in love with this paper. And um, the qual just the, the texture, the quality, it's very heavy duty. It feels really, really nice. So this would, you know, could easily be a cut apart page. Um, and the flip side is just a be beautiful designer page. So I really like this collection. It's very nostalgic. I love the, the ice skates and look at the little lovebirds. How cute, how cute. And, and this spray is so beautiful. Uh, you could use it in a layout as is or you could fussy cut around it. It's just really pretty. Look at that, more skates, lovely. And look how romantic that is. It's also nice that um, not everybody does this. They kind of put a, a little designer strip on the bottom, um, which is what's on the flip side. It's kind of nice. All right, and then we've got the, um, the holly berries. That's so pretty. I think I would, I think I would use this as my cover uh, in a mini album. It's just so welcoming. I really like it and I love the hues. It's very soft and romantic. This is beautiful. I definitely fussy cut the center of that out and um, put a photo in there because it's just a beautiful frame. That would be another really pretty um, image on the cover if you fussy cut around it and use that as the main part of your cover. So I may say that a couple of times because I actually haven't seen the collection. We're looking at it at the same time. So it's beautiful. You got kind of a stripe page. Look at this. They, they're really designed um, to use in a 12 by 12 layout. Um, so you still have plenty of photo space, but also I can definitely see cutting this down and using it in a mini album, but I could see it both ways. So there's lots of photo space over here if you kept it in the 12 by 12 format. Beautiful, ooh, that's neat, sweater sweater texture. And then um, you see the burlap kind of come in and out um, in several of the images. So I could see using like a burlap on the spine um, just to keep, make it a little bit more interesting. Now this is what they call the bits and bobs. Comes in this package. You get 24 four by six sheets and even the package could be used. Um, that's the actual package itself, but you could easily use that somewhere in your album. Okay. We've got an image on one side and a frame on the other. Beautiful image. And then this looks more like a typical uh, postcard. It's very pretty, or journaling card. Nice. Another beautiful frame. I, I think I would wind up using the B side in a lot of cases. It's pretty. That's very pretty. There's two of each, so I'll speed this up by trying to pick up two at a time. Beautiful. And look at these go together. You could feature these both on the same page. Beautiful. That's lovely. These look good together. Ooh, isn't that interesting? I really like that. You could uh, put some of your personal information, maybe your family name, the year, location. That's pretty too. Beautiful frames. That's a great journaling card. Very romantic. Okay. So that is the bits and bobs. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of the die cuts. So you get the die cuts, you get 27 pieces. 
And um, I noticed when I took it out of the package, some of these are offset, some of them are better than others. But frankly, there's too much white for me. I would wind up fussy cutting these down further. That's just me. Um, the other thing you could do is ink into the white. It's just too bold, especially against um, some of these images. That's just too much white when you see almost no white here. Um, everything is sort of a you know, got like an antique look to it. So that's just me, um, everybody's different. See, this one's much better in terms of how centered it is. But again, I would probably cut down through some of that white. Um, but they have really pretty die cuts and some of them are, are quite large to feature um, as embellishments on your pages. I think they're beautiful. So yeah, so there's 27 of those and they're unique designs. And again, we have the 12 by 12, which we went over. Die cuts, 12 by 12, bits and bobs. That's the uh, die cut package. And then it also comes in the eight by eight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little walkthrough and reveal of the Yuletide collection by um, Blue Fern. So check it out. Um, we've got, the, it came in today, so we're shipping it out immediately if you guys are interested. I'm not sure if we're gonna do an album in this. We've talked about it. It's, it's, a, it's a high likelihood, but I, I can't commit to it right now. So either myself or the Quiet Paper, Quiet Cat Paper Company <laughs> will do something with this. I think one of the two of us will do something with this collection. So thanks for tuning in as usual. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. We'll see you soon.